guys, so I'm back and I'm here to show you my entire makeup collection plus organizing tips. So I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted to see my makeup collection and 99% of you said yes. So here I am about to show it to you entirely and I'm also going to show you how I organize it. Also remember that my collection is constantly rotating. I don't have anything that's expired or old or anything that I don't use. I use all of my stuff. Again, this is not showing off video. A lot of people wanted to see it and I love seeing these kind of videos as well. Trust me, I'm not the person to collect makeup and just let it sit there and just get old and expire because I feel really bad when I have something and I don't use it. So definitely gets used, so don't worry about that. And that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Enjoy my makeup collection video and I will talk to you later. Bye. Okay, so this is where I store all of my makeup. And I bought these um, drawers from Ikea. And I got three of them, so I've had them for about two years. I believe these are the Alexa 9 drawer set drawers. I'm not sure, but I'll put them in the description box. And yeah, so that's where I store all my makeup. So this is my entire brush collection. And I have to organize them and clean them. I know, guys, they are so messy, but... These are all of my brushes. I have these jars from Michaels, and I fill them up with little, little small rocks also from Michaels. I have this one from Eco Tools. I have one of my favorites from um, Sonia Kashuk uh, for Target, and then I have the Afterglow, and I have my MAC 182, and then I have my Sigma SS 182, which is an old one, but they also renamed it. So these are actually uh, candle jars, and I just thought. I would clean them out and then they're really pretty because they're just glass containers so I also use these to store um, a lot of my brushes in here and I really love them. Right over here I have all of my makeup palettes. Um, these are my benefit um, like little makeup books and stuff. Well they're not books but they look like books so they're really pretty so you can display them. Like this one here it says how to look the best at everything for a medium complexion and then you open it up. You have everything you need to how to look your best. The primer, the foundation, concealer, and powder, and they're just really pretty. I just cannot store these away because I love how they look. They're so, so cute. I have a few things back here that I want to show you how I organize some of my palettes. So back here I have these plastic organizers, and I actually got them from Target, and they were in the like the, homes, uh, the home office or just the office section of the store, and they're just used to organize folders and paperwork and all that stuff. So they fit my palettes. They fit like the uh, double-stacked... Uh, 120 palettes. These are from BH Cosmetics, and then I have some from like Hot Look and uh, blush palettes down this way. I have more makeup palettes, and I just keep them stacked as well. This one is the um, Elf palette that I just used for a tutorial. And then over here, this is my train case from my recent trip to San Francisco. And Benefit Cosmetics actually gave us all a train case full of their new um, their new collection and it's so so adorable and I just can't wait for you guys to see the video on this but it's such a pretty little train case and it has the stickers and I just love it and it's pink so we're gonna move on to the first drawer and the first top drawer I have all of my face uh, actually eye primers and eyelid bases and all that stuff so here are all of my jumble um, eye pencils from NYX and then back here I have like other jumbo pencils, but these are actually called something else. Um, different brands from BH Cosmetics. And then back here I have some like Revlon uh, palettes and stuff like that. Um, back here, this is just a container, like a plastic container from like Turkey or something like that. Um, actually fit in the drawer and I have more um, eye bases and eyelid primers. And then this little box I got from Michaels in a set of like many boxes actually and I'll show you the rest later. But here I keep a lot more um, eyelid primers. So this base, so this drawer is all about eye primers. And these two drawers, uh, these two little baskets are from the dollar store. So you can find them there. This next drawer is not that organized. But um, this is the mascara and eyeliner and yeah, that's basically it. So I am constantly filling it up and giving it away. So this is the most recent stash of mascaras that I have. 
Um, and then this is also from the dollar store. And then these two drawers or little baskets are from Target. Actually, no, these are from the dollar store as well, the 99 cent store. And then this basket, I keep all of my pencil liners. And then this one over here, I keep my liquid eyeliners. Now, here, in this bottom section, I have my um, cream liners, and I also have my glitter liners that I got from, let me see if you can see it. I also keep my glitter eyeliners that I got from iMats. Um, these are called... Uh, glitter original candy something like that I completely forgot what they're called sprinkles eye and body glitter um, don't remember the brand but yeah I have all of these beautiful colors and then this is the liquid sugar that you use for it so now this drawer is all of my Mac um, stuff that I've collected over the past few months and on uh, the past year so here I have all of my lipsticks and then I have um, blushes and bronzers and highlights. And then this is the makeup palette. This, these are the only eyeshadows that I have from MAC. I don't really have a lot, guys. Um, just because I feel like I have any, everything else in a different color that I don't need to use these. So I have these and a few other colors that are in the pots. But this is the one makeup palette that I have. And here are the lashes and just eyeliners and stuff. And... Everything is pretty much kept here. So now this drawer, I have a variety of different things. I have my concealers. These on the top are the ones that I use the most. Um, and then this box, also from Michaels, I store all of my concealers in there. Um, I also have my Derma Blend concealer and foundation. I probably should keep the foundation somewhere else. Actually, no. They're both concealers. My bad. Um, now this little basket is full of... Um, like eyebrows and grooming stuff for my eyebrows. This is the concealer. So yeah, so this is full of that. And now this right here are all of my e.l.f. products. So that's why I try to keep them organized by brand. Now in this drawer, I have face primers. These are all of my face primers here, just different different brands. This is actually the one that I've been using recently, which is a body um, bodyography. And I got that one from iMeds, and I love it. Um, Oh, this is the concealer. My bad. So, yes, these are face primers. I have my Makeup Forever Flash palette in the back. Um, and then here are all of my highlights. This is the MAC um, Soft and Gentle, which is one of my favorites. Then this is also one of my favorites for more of a dewy look. This is from Hard Candy, so really affordable. And uh, my Stila... Uh, blushes. They're also great as a highlight. Now this next drawer, I have all of my bronzers right here. I have a sculpting disc. Um, I have another one that's just a bronzer. These are all of my cream blushes. Um, and yeah, these are all basically just cream except this baby here. See, I should have been better organized. Um, here I have more bronzers and... Um, See, this doesn't even go here. So this next drawer, I have all of my foundations. I have some setting sprays in the back right here. Um, I also have my advanced therapy for dry, cracked, or irritated skin. I feel like this is a must for me. Well, especially when I get sick because my nose tends to get really, really dry. And then you can obviously, you don't want to put any foundation on top of dry skin because it's just going to look worse. So I always keep this just because it's really good to have. Um, like I said, the setting sprays are down there. Liquid foundations and creams and all that good stuff is in the front. Now, towards the back, I have setting powders and just foundation powders. It contains um, just miscellaneous things that don't really have a category. For example, I have this little uh, dish, which is actually vintage. I keep here, like, all of my sharpeners and tape. The little cool guy here is actually to catch all the fallout. And I got it from a beauty store, and it also comes with the larger one, so you can just switch it out. Then I have the dark tone dual eyelash adhesive and all that random stuff. Um, I also have all of my sanitizers, because that's a must. I have some powder, uh, mineral foundation, some lip scrubs, and um, what else? face wipes and the beauty blender and oh this is museum wax so this is what it's used for you just grab the little the little thing here you scoop some out and then you put it on the bottom of your of your um 
like home decor, little knickknacks and stuff so they don't move around. And what I use this for is actually when I'm photographing for my blog um, items that tend to roll on a flat surface. I use a little bit of this on the brushes or anything like that, not on the hair, but like on the handle if I don't want it to roll and I want to show the brand. Um, I used a little bit of this clear museum wax and it stays in place and then I can shoot beautiful pictures. So yeah. Last drawer is just full of random eyelashes. So now moving on to the second set of drawers. Here I have my lip products and these I have really, really organized. Um, just because it's easier for me to see the color and when I want to do something. Before, I seriously had all of my lipsticks just thrown in one or two, three drawers. But now, I laid them flat like this. So I don't have anything on top except if it's like the same brand. Like this here, I have more of the same little um, lipsticks in the same um, area. But if not, they're pretty much laid out flat. This is just a clear little container that I got from L'Oreal when they sent me a few things and I just kept it just because it was clear and I can store the lipsticks so back here I have my CoverGirl lipsticks and I have a lot of those so that's why they're nice and stacked and then I have the colors showing so when I'm doing a certain look I can just go ahead and pick it out now these are new these are from L'Oreal and I just used one in one of my tutorials so I have a few of those in between and then here these are actually Maybelline if I'm not mistaken color sensational so I have these Maybelline lipsticks in here, and from this edge you can actually see what they are. Oh my gosh, these are the new ones that I got, and they're so freaking amazing. Especially this one, which is, oh, I don't have it. And I have the Balm ones here, more L'Oreal, so these are all by um, organized by brand as well, and by type, by collection. So now in this side here I have my NARS uh, lipsticks and these are kind of like the higher end lipsticks um, like Yves Saint Laurent and Bobbi Brown and NARS and La Mosca and whatever else is in here. I don't know, Dior, I don't know. Okay, so yeah, these are like the higher end lipsticks. I don't have a lot of those so I just keep them in one section. Next drawer just also contains my... Um, lipsticks and these are also like these are from Lime Crime and then I have the Kate Moss uh, collection here I love them I got four of them um, and then I have more Revlon Revlon and Rimmel and then here this is the one thing basket that I'm actually giving away to my sister because these I know that I don't use at all the next drawer is more lipstick these are all of my elf um, all of my NYX Th these are the NYX matte these are Mary Kay these are Tarte and then these are NYC this, this is where I have my lip glosses here I have the elf um, I forgot what these are called luscious liquid um, lipsticks which are back here and then I have some lip pots and the baby lips of course these are some of my favorites this basket I also have just random lip balms for my lips and you know things that don't really have like a like I don't have a lot of like I only have one glossy tube I think and then these of course are the EOS lip balm, some of my three favorites, and the pink one which is in the bathroom and I use it in the morning. Um, now here I have just more lip glosses. These are NARS and these are Neutrogena and Mary Kay and uh, just to whole bit Oh, NYX is also in here, uh, Smashbox, Revlon, all of the Revlon ones that look like that are down there. This drawer has more lip glosses and these are actually the two new ones that I got from Bodyography. I have more random ones back here in this basket. This is another one that I got from from Michael's guys. Um, the other basket that I was telling you guys about. Ah. These here are new to my collection. These are the CoverGirl Jumbo Gloss Bombs. I have those there. These are actually to organize your beads if you do bead work. But in here I keep my Berry M Dazzle Dust that I got from London. I have my Beach Cosmetics liners. Then I have my e.l.f. pigments and stuff. So I keep them in here and I love that they divide. So they're really nice. And yeah, All of these containers are from Michaels. Now in here I have a bigger one and this one has all of my random pigments. Um, some that I got from eBay and then just like NYX pigments in here. Um, glitter and then this is another one. You see, I love these because it makes everything so organized. These are all of my pressed shadows uh, or pressed pigments from L'Oreal. 
and they're really easy to look. These are three extra ones that didn't fit in another one. These are all of my NYX eyeshadows. I don't, I thought I would have more, but I only had those. And the bottom one also contains a lot more pigments and glitters and cream bases, uh, like the color tattoos from Maybelline. Keep those in here as well. And I have two smaller ones. These all contain um, pigments from NYX in little jars. So even though I can't see the top, I can flip it or to the side and see the color easily without taking them out. Um, random shadows and a lot of random palettes that I have to depot. I actually got the C palettes and I'm going to take all of these out one day just so I can make more space because they look so bulky and it's taking up so much space. In this drawer, I have to organize it, I know. This is all of my La Belladonna Cosmetics stuff. I have to buy more organizing um, baskets because everything is a mess in here. Alright, so this last drawer from this one, I'm almost done, I promise, guys. Here I have my Sigma, uh, yeah, these are my Sigma palettes. Uh, my Craylon, more Craylon, my e.l.f. palettes, um, they're all down here. All of my NYX. Um, Bohemian Chic palettes and more Sigma stuff is in the back. Um, so yeah, see, these are a lot of different palettes from Urban Decay to Lancome to Elf and then just a bunch of random stuff that I just like to keep organized in this drawer. So when I open it up, in the front I have all of my Sigma single shadows and also the, the eyebrows and all of that good stuff here. And I love that it has the name on the top and it also has the color of the shadow so I can easily just take it out. Because I love the way it's organized like this so I, I want to keep the little boxes. I don't want to throw them away. Um, so yeah, so I have these. And then as I open it up more, I have more benefit stuff. I have all of my uh, tints. Um, I have the high beam and the sun beam. I have more Sigma products here. So these are all new that I just got in from um, Benefit Cosmetics. Down here, I also have more um, new products from Benefit. So this is the new skincare routine that I have. So these are new, so when I run out, I can just come to the store and take it out and stuff. So here I have it in the pretty little boxes that I don't want to throw away because the packaging is like the best thing ever. So remember when I showed you the pink train case? Well, this is what came inside of it. Not all of this, but everything with the same packaging. Um, from eyeshadows to cream shadows to lip glosses. So all of that stuff was in there. Extra professional and extra they're real. They're some of my favorite products. And then the Benetint. So now it's starting to look a little empty just because because these bottom drawers, they barely have anything else, but um, these are my lip glosses from Benefit. And then I also have my really famous banana Benai luxury powder that you guys always ask me about. Um, and then I also have this little bag in here, and I keep all of my lip tars in here just because it's easy. They kind of roll around and I don't have a basket for them. Plus it's a clear little bag so it's easy for me to see. And then here I have all of my OCC um, cream shadows in the back. And here I have all of my Shani Cosmetics pigments. I have my Velour lashes and then I have this little perfume set from Benefit. And then these are all of my other random pigments that I Hopefully one day press just so they're not all messy like that because they tend like sometimes if they open they get all over the place and they get so dirty. These are really awesome because you can really condense your makeup collection and you have more storage space. I also have my Sigma Paris palette and then the Naked 2 and Naked Original palette from Urban Decay. Here I have my Beauty Expert Brow Design Kit from Sigma. I have the Book of Shadows or this is not the Book of Shadows, it's somewhere else. Um, just some Urban Decay palettes. And a brush belt. That completes my entire makeup collection, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.